Hey guys, so in this video, I am going to solve the question 3 of the Computer Science 2018 Class 12th ISC Practical Paper. And I have the question in front of me. So this is the whole question and I will follow my standard technique of first reading it, making an outline of the program and then uh, trying to clear all my doubts in the question, uh, about the question before I start coding. So this is the question. So the names of the teams participating in a competition should be displayed on a banner vertically to accommodate as many as teams possible in a single banner. Design a program to accept the names of n teams. So to accommodate as many as teams as possible in a single banner. So you might not get this statement at the first go, but the point is if the banner is this much, so you want to accommodate all the team names here. So that's what they mean, I guess. So. Uh, then we'll read design a program to accept the names of n teams where n is equals to 2 to 9 okay so they mean this exactly because if there are 9 teams so you can display a banner like this so this uh, design a program to accept the names of n teams where n is between 2 and 9 and display them in vertical order side by side with horizontal tab that is 8 spaces so they mean to have 8 spaces between these two and so this has to be 8 spaces and test your program for the following data and some random data. So the program is clear, but at first solution might not, might not strike to you, but it is not a very difficult question as well. So the first thing you need to do, uh, read is the value of n, then read an array of string, and then uh, read in the name of the three teams, I mean the n number of teams, and then store them in your st uh, string array, and then print it out like this. So I know how to print it like this. So you, it might not strike to you directly when you are reading for uh, seeing the output for the first time. So give it a couple of minutes, and even if the, even if after three four minutes you are not able to find a solution. So what you do is go and get started with programming where you read the value of n and the name of the teams, and then probably by the time it might strike, and it usually happens when you get uh, get on doing the coding, the solution is more clear to you. Okay. So I'll get with the coding. I have an outline of a program in mind. So reading the value of n is very straightforward. Then reading the value of three teams is uh, very straightforward. Printing this is a little tricky, but I'll tell you when we are about to code. So I will again write this in a notepad and then compile it on command line. So class banner the main method public static string yes close exception okay then I will write import java dot i dot asterisk because I want to import the dis object create the dis object to print the to sorry print the Input from the user. Okay, so data input stream dis input stream data input stream system dot in. Okay, so the first thing is to read the value of n. So int n equals to Integer dot parse in the is dot read line. So I always tell you that your input and output should look as close as possible to the original question. So my point here is you can print out n is equals to first and then the user can input three so the input will look exactly like this. So what I do is system dot out dot print n is equals to and then whenever the user will enter the value of n. This will be the prompt that will show on the output. So let us do, go and compile what we have done so far. Java C, Java C, question 3. Java. So it works. So there is no compilation error. Then, so obviously I have used data input stream to input the values from the user because I used to use this when I was back in my first standard. So you can use some other way. You can use buffer reader or scanner, whichever whichever way you have been taught and you are confident about. Okay, so I have read the value of n, and uh, so I use data input stream because uh, data input stream you reads 
uh, a line at a time and scanner you have to keep in mind when you're reading an integer or you're reading a string because when it reads a string when the scanner reads an integer sorry so it won't read, read, uh, read the change in line and then you, if you're reading a next line so that change in line will go there so it's confusing so you have to be very clear about that okay so i've read the value of n now d to verify validate the value of n so i guess there must be some limit so this is 2 and 9 and what is to be shown for invalid input yes. okay. so if not n is greater than 2 and n is less than 9 print print the error message system dot out dot print alert invalid input and terminate the program how do you terminate a program is add a return statement because return will return from this method and void hat so this main has no return type so no value has to return so just return will take you back take you out of this main method and then the program exits so invalid input and so you can check my if condition so n is greater than 2 and n is less than 9 is the desired range for this question and if this is not the range which is provided so if this if n is not in the range in this given range so i will print this error and i will exit the program okay so let's just check it out java banner so n for 5 is okay n for 10 is invalid input and i am okay okay now we are going to read the values of the teams and as i said i want to keep the input as close as possible to the question so i will prompt for team 1 and then the value of team 1 will be entered so read the name read the names of the n teams so for sorry for in i is to 0 i is an n a plus plus okay so i have to create an array first create an array to store the names of the teams so string teams is equals to new oh, sorry we got on the square brackets string teams is equals to new string and n so because they are n teams and i have created an error now so we are going to read the value of these teams now the name sorry the name of the teams now now uh, okay so as i told you i want to keep the input as close as possible to the uh, input given in the question so i'll prompt for the team number okay so we can go from one two is equals to n or either way just keep in mind that for zero you have to print one for one you have to print two because this it starts from team one and our index starts from zero so system dot out dot print team plus i plus one plus colon plus space and then so teams of i is equals to bis dot read line so this is where we have stored the name of a team so you can try to print this out and you will have the same output so you can give it a second to print it out system system dot out dot print ln teams of i now I see Java. So three teams and so Emus road rules and coyote. Emus road rules coyote. So so we have the team names exactly the way they are entered. Okay, so T is small in team name, so this will get in capitals, and so we will have a so as I said I want to keep the input as close as possible to the way it is given in the question. So n is equals to printed and then the team 1, team 2, team 3 along with colon is printed which is at just as it is given here ok now we have to come to the output so now 
it is not difficult so what you have to do is find the maximum length of all the in among all the teams and then iterate for in the outer loop for that and then in the inner loop print this print the name of this print each character of this each team on each line i'll repeat again so you have to find the maximum length among all these names and iterate from 0 to length minus 1 so and in each iteration you have to print a line and in each line you have to print the ith character of that of the team name in order given here and if the value of i which is to be printed here exceeds the length of the team name don't print anything just print a space and then this and you have to have tabs within this so i'll tell you how so find the length of the team with the longest name find the length find the find the team with the longest name okay so in i second team longest Just name index. So this will store the index of the team with the longest name. Calculate the index of the team with the longest. So we'll do a simple linear search and compare for int i is equal to zero, i less than and i plus plus update the maximum length. So if teams of i dot length is greater than teams of longest name of the index dot length then teams longest name index is equal to i and calculate the index of the team with the longest name longest name length okay so this is how we are going to find the index the team which has the longest name of the length longest names uh, sorry so this means that if any team if the name of any team is longer than the name of the current uh, longest team name then update the longest team name very simple so you might have done this a lot of times to find the maximum number in an array or find the minimum number in an array it is very similar to that okay now print the output so for print i is equal to 0 i less than teams of longest team name index dot length i plus plus okay so in now in each of these lines i have to print the i character of the team name and if there is no i character if, that means i is greater than the length of the team name so don't print anything so if if i is greater than the team name so if i is greater than equal to oh print all teams so you have to have an l loop print j is equal to 0, j is less than n, j plus plus and then we have j ok so we have n team so j is from 0 to n and n minus 1 sorry so if i is greater than equal to teams of j dot length right? because i is an index so if index is equal to or greater than the length of the name so it means the index has exceeded the maximum index that the that it can have it in the name so it has exceeded the bounds so this is the condition for that so if it's i is greater than the j teams uh, names length so print a space system dot out or print a space okay else system dot out dot print the character so 
teams of jail dot care at i okay and so this is it and then after this after a space or the character which is printed we have to print it spaces print it read spaces system dot out dot print ln one two three four five six seven eight and then we have to sorry system on dot dot print sorry and then we have to change the line because we have printed the is line so system dot out dot ln okay so okay one thing is remaining is that we have to print the first one oh it is not as if you have to first one in caps we have to print it exactly the way it is given so no worries there so i think it will give the output that we desire so just let's compile and check it out java java banner so three emus row roads and coyote and we have the output exactly the way that is desired so we will try with this one now coil march videos and games so royals oh sorry it has to be royal so okay it is royals does not matter mars and then b rows and then kings so let me check if the output is actually royals mars b rows and kings and for n is equals to 10 i have an invalid input so how did i come to the problem of getting the output correctly so the so you can count the number the first thing you need to do is count the number of lines that you have to print out because you have to, the printing goes on like this that you have to you can print out one line horizontally then you can print another line horizontally then you can print another line horizontally so what you have to do is calculate the number of lines that you need to print and that will be the length the length of the longest name so that is calculated first so those are the number of lines that you need to print and then in each line you have to and then each line is zeroth line first line second line third line you have to print the ith character so and if any name does not have an ith character just print a space because that has to be blank so that is what i have done is i found the length of the longest name and i have iterated from 0 to length minus 1 it means i have uh, I will the, the number of lines that I will be printing is equal to the length of the longest name and in each line that I print I print out the ith character which is this ith character of that name of sorry each of the names from 0 to n for each of the names and if any of these names don't have this ith index so that is if i is greater than equals to the length of the name of this j team so I'll just print a space in this case else i will print the character at this place and i will get the output so this was the solution to the problem and i hope this was helpful so you can look at the problem here the solution here and i hope this was helpful precise and complete solution and this was the output as desired i hope this was helpful for you and please do like and subscribe the channel for more such practice problems and videos